Hi, I'm Doug with Electric Bike Solutions, LLC, and today we're going to go over the installation process for electric bike kits that can go on any bike or trike, tadpole, tandem, whatever you like. Your motor kit will arrive neatly packaged. Please read instructions contained within. There will be a smaller box containing the controller, a pedal assist sensing unit, and display if the pedal assist upgrade was purchased. A variable speed thumb throttle display mounting bracket, speedometer odometer sensing unit, and new brake levers with the automatic motor cutoff. We are installing a rear motor, but depicting the front brake attachment here for easier viewing. After detaching brake and removing the existing wheel, install the motor wheel. Note that the tabbed washer goes between the motor and the frame. Some minor filing of the inside of the dropouts may be required for motor axle to fit. Not pictured here, but one side of bike at a time should be tried to ensure axle will fit in the dropouts. Lightly file if necessary. Once axle is started into dropouts, Use a wrench on flat sides of axle to help wiggle it all the way into the dropouts. Using an 18 millimeter wrench, tighten nuts. It is important that these are very tight. Check them periodically to make sure the axle has not moved any within the dropouts. About 8 inches from the end of the motor axle, there is a disconnect point for the cable going to the controller. Always make sure arrows are lined up when connecting or damage will occur. Installing the pedal assist sensing unit will require an inexpensive pedal crank arm puller and Allen head wrench or socket ratchet. Remove pedal crank bolt and thread pedal crank puller into pedal crank and remove the arm. Some bikes have a different style bottom bracket than the common squared tapered shank one shown here. Contact us for an alternate solution if your crankshaft is not the square tapered shaft type. The plastic wheel with magnets slides over the shaft with the arrows on it pointing forward. The magnet needs to be within about an eighth inch from the sensor. The metal ring with the sensor on it will need to be epoxy to the frame crank housing of the bike. The speedometer sensor attaches to the frame of the bike and the magnet goes on the spoke. Location of magnet on spoke does not matter as long as magnet is within about an eighth inch from the bullseye on the sensing unit. For the wire to reach the controller, the speedometer sensor will normally be installed on the rear wheel. Now install display onto bracket and then mount bracket on the handlebars. Display control will normally go near left hand grip. Remove old hand brakes and after sliding throttle on the handlebars, normally on right but can go on left, install new brake levers. The new brake levers are not required for the system to work. The torque arm has two pieces and normally is clamped to the back side of fork or frame if on rear. Torque arm can go on either side of bike. Configure the two pieces in a manner that best fits your bike. For optimum bike support, use a rear kickstand like the one pictured. For ease of navigation, display control buttons are close to hand grip. Display in the center, thumb throttle on right in front of brake and shifter. Trigger shifters versus twist shifters may require putting the shifter before the throttle and brake. Neatly zip tie wires back to controller location, typically in a nice roomy bag hanging from rear seat, but may be placed anywhere that is convenient. Now just enjoy the fun.